Now, not everything on the world is yes or no or black and white, right? There's a lot of nuance. There's a lot of gray area. And health packs and games are no different. It could be health pack could be a type of level. So we could say like level two. And if the health pack is a level one, it heals a little bit. A level two, it heals a lot. And a level three, it heals at all your health, right? So let's do three. We'll say if level one, then we'll actually take the person's health and we'll just add 10 to it, which is not a lot, right, for level one. And we're going to do something called copy pasta coding where you copy a line and you paste it down there so you don't have to type it again. If it's a level two, it's gonna increase it by 100. So we'll say else if health pack equals level two. And then we'll add one more else if. We'll say else if health pack equals level three. And then we'll do copy pasta coding right there. And we'll say health equals 1,000, which I'm assuming fully healthy or something like that, right? And don't forget the then. See how it was red right there? And see how it's red right there? It knows it's missing the then. So now when we run, you'll see that their person's health, and we actually have to print, do a print statement to see it actually work. Person. If you look at their health after we run, you can see that their health is now 200 because we added 100 to it because it was a level 2 health pack. And so we can do level three and it'll hit that third branch and set it to 1,100 because it added 1,000. So that's how you can do multiple if statements where you have a bunch of conditionals. It's not just two. It could be as many as you want. You just keep adding else ifs, okay? Now there's one caveat and that is what happens if it's a level four, right? We, <laughs> it's not gonna run any of these. So it's always good to have a catch-all else at the very end and say, uh, I don't know what, and then we can add the health pack is value is. So we have level four. So if we set it to level four, it's not going to hit any of these other if statements or else statements, and it's going to print it out. I don't know what level four is, right? Or it could just be a feature you haven't implemented yet, and that's okay. Just print it out. We're not going to do an error or anything. And if you wanted to, like, say, wait a minute, it's never supposed to get here ever, then you could put in an error. So if it ever does occur in your game, it literally stops that if statement says, hey, I don't know what this error is. Can you tell me how I got a level four? It's like, oh, okay, I just mistyped it. I meant to say one, two, or three, and that's fine too.